What is up guys, The Flying Tech here, and today we're going to be checking out some upgrades on the Ishin Aurora 90, so let's get right into it. All right guys, so first things first, let's go ahead and remove the original camera and make ready for the new. To remove the camera, locate the four pin connector on the right side of your quadcopter and remove it. Once you've removed the original camera, desolder all the connections. All right guys, so the next thing you're gonna do is remove the number seven pin from the Ishin TX-03. As you can see, I've done so here. Just be careful when doing this because you don't want to damage any of the other pins. Next, you're going to go ahead and solder the blue wire to the rear of pin 7 and the orange wire to the front of pin 7, as shown here. Next, you're going to trim and splice the power connections for the TX-03 and then solder everything together. Next up, motor spacers. I highly recommend getting these motor spacers. They're only about two bucks. They come with way better upgraded screws and they'll save you props in the long run. Here's the original battery strap that came with the Aurora. Not too great. Here's the one that I'm upgrading it with. A heck of a lot stronger. I simply zip tied it to the bottom of the Aurora and it holds my battery in pretty darn well. Speaking of batteries, we've gone ahead and upgraded the original battery to a 550mAh 160C max output battery. The original battery weighs in at 31.1 grams, whereas the new battery weighs in at 38.1 grams. Alright, next we're going to upgrade the props to these DYS2030s, and it's as simple as that. Next you'll notice I secured the antenna a lot better using a couple of zip ties and some black tape. Next up, cable management. You know, when this quadcopter came fresh out of the box, these wires were just all over the place and spaghettied. So I went ahead and zip tied everything and made it nice and neat so nothing gets caught on anything. With the original battery, she now weighs 115 grams. With the upgraded battery, it's 122. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the upgrade. So now it's time to take her in the field and test her out. So I'll meet you there. <laughs> 